So this here is the on-screen menu display of the Philips BDP-1502. And you could see the first option is the disk, that is the USB, and right here I have setup. And this setup is actually very tricky. And I'll go into it, you can see it's highlighted. And right there is a slight white. And if I navigate down, you could see that I am controlling the options now. Now it's very tricky to actually set, I must say, because I, I actually don't know, judging by these colors, what menu is actually active. So the, the choices are actually terrible. So, so, so right now, I don't know if I'm controlling the TV display, though, uh, that's my guess here because it is slightly white and I pushed this particular one but but once I move it up you could see all right that is the TV display so I'm just gonna have that set to auto and I'm gonna click cancel So once I have it set to auto, I'm going to go back and you can see this is the HDMI video or actually this is the noise reduction. So, so this is what I mean, this is very hard to navigate. And you can see this is the HDMI video or noise reduction. This is the TV display. This is the HDMI video. So I suppose I, I can choose particular right there, the widescreen. Now I'm going to go back. You can see now I have the display is widescreen, the HDMI video is auto, and the noise reduction is medium. Now for the audio, and for the preferences, so just for the language preference here, you see there's English, there's French, and then there's Spanish. And there's actually Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Finnish. So there, there's a bunch of languages here for the menu options. So, so once again, it, it is just crazy to navigate. It, it's just so so very difficult to to figure out what menu option you're on so so I have to kind of restart here but well, I just want to show you just how how hard it is I'm now I'm using the remote control um, and just going to go back and I've selected English now 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 just going up back to preferences so so I can't even tell I, I really can't even tell what menu option I'm on you know I, I guess that's all of the languages that you see so that's the audio for the English that's the um, subtitles is off, you know, though on the remote here, you know, you, you could toggle the subtitles with, with this button, this particular button here. Um, but let me just skip to advanced. But the navigation of this menu option, these menu options are just horrible. And so, uh, you know, Philips could have done a better job here. You can see the software updates is through the disk, you know, USB, 
and once again it's it's tough for me to even navigate through that um, and here's the accessibilities <laughs> I, I wish I could do a better demo of this, but, but I really do want to show you just, just how tough it is to navigate this. It, it is very tricky, so uh, just keep that in mind. And really that's it for the on-screen menu display of the Philips.